One of you guys are ready? Questions for Amaya? Amaya, never quite before have I seen a second quarter quite like that. Uh, what was just working so well in that second 10 minutes? Um, I think we started with really good defense on the in the first half. So that kind of translated. Like, even though we had our lull at the beginning, like, we were still like, well, we need to get these stops. We need to get these stops. And then with offense, we really stressed the importance of, uh, like, um, not turning the ball over and stuff like that. And then you jumped out the gigantic lead and then the second half for a couple minutes, they started to dig back into it. And then you got right back to it, hovering around 20, it seemed like the rest of the way. Oh, what was the biggest key in just keeping them at an arm's distance, if not even more so for the entirety of that second half? When in the past, teams have crept in before and uh, made you sweat a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think um, it's a little bit of a, of a maturity thing. And I think we're starting to realize, like, we just got to, like, keep our composure, not freak out so much. And like I said, we can't turn over the ball because, like, stuff isn't happening or going our way. We just got to, like, play the game that we know how to play. You guys have played so much better in the second games, like, all season. What is it about seeing the team a second time that <laughs> they so much, much better? <laughs> um, I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. I know for me, though, I wasn't satisfied with the way I was playing defense the first game. I felt like I could have done a lot better. And obviously this game, I had really good defensive game. And so did the team. And Amaya, is there even more of an added satisfaction in the fashion that you beat Boise State? A lot of your wins have been close, but you really just came out and just squashed them today. Oh, yeah. Um, this... I would, actually, for everybody that's on this team right now, um, this was our first win just at Boise in itself. So it felt really good to beat Boise here, and especially to beat them by 20 points. Like, it feels great. Any thoughts about Air Force next week? How do you keep this going? Um, we just got to keep our composure. Um, like you said, or not you, I think Andrew said, um, a lot of times we don't do well the first game and then we do well, like very well the second game. So we just gotta like keep with the momentum and know that like we can't get comfortable because we beat Boise at Boise. We gotta go in and beat Air Force at Air Force and then beat them again the next day or two. Right, <laughs> Dale. Got to see your buddy out there, uh, Dom Phillips, back on the court for the mm -hmm. first time this season this weekend. What does it mean to have her back out there with y'all? It's great. I know she's been working really hard and I'm her roommate. So like, I know like it's been a little hard for her and not being able to play or to see stuff like on the court, but not be able to do anything. So it's really, I know for her and for me, it's really nice to see her back on the court. How do you guys feel Oh, I was just going to say, how do you just take this momentum now and build off of a game like this and just use it as confidence as you continue to go now and continue on this road stretch? Um, going into this, we were really stressing our defense. So I think because we had such a really good defensive start um, here at Boise, the second game, that's the way to kind of keep the momentum going, like have a really good defensive game at Air Force. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. Anything else? Thanks. Okay. You're good, Amaya. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, Amanda. Nice and sweaty. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. Second game magic. <laughs> I wish I knew the formula, I'll tell you what. Coach, how does it feel to break an eight game um, now losing streak against Boise State? I mean, when you put it in that context, obviously that feels great. It sounds great um, for us. And like my approach, I just try to win the game that we're in. And I don't give a lot of energy to streaks and things like that, just because the, the history doesn't really matter. All that matters is that game day. And we've had so many close games with them and like big games in the conference tournament. At two of our three years, we've played them really close in the conference tournament. So um, we always know it's going to be a battle and a great matchup. And today, you know, we, we were able to win by a lot, but, you know, I don't think it's indicative at all of how good they are. I think they're a really good team. They're young and they're still figuring things out. Um, but I was really proud of our team for the way we bounced back today and just how well they played together as a unit, especially on defense. I thought our defense was tremendous and um, just the way that we really keyed in and tried to play everybody with two people because they have a huge size advantage at us at a lot of positions, but I thought our team defense was phenomenal. What is it about game two that your team 
just always it seems to have a just a much better performance in the game two versus game one. I wish I knew, you know, <laughs> I was just talking to our radio guy and I do think that being able to play somebody, I feel like our team is so much more comfortable in game two. And I don't know if that's at all attributed to having so many new players. We only have, you know, really four players that played last year and P didn't even play a lot. So that, that have familiarity with these opponents and the players. Um, but I'm really going to challenge them. We need to be more comfortable being a little uncomfortable in game one and be more of ourselves. That's the biggest thing is like, I don't feel like in the game ones when we haven't been successful that we have played the way that we're capable of playing and like just our system, you know, for me, we are a team defensive oriented system. We're a team offensive oriented system. Um, we don't just play with one person. We don't play as individuals and we need to be better with our team basketball in game one. And I feel like if we can really lock in on being better with our team basketball in game one, we're going to have a chance to win. But the games we've lost, I feel like we've played a lot by ourselves. You know, in game one here, we didn't reverse the ball. It stayed on one side way too much. And not enough people were touching it. And defensively, we tried to guard them too much one-on-one. -on -one, and they have such a size advantage against us that we just couldn't play them like that. And that wasn't necessarily the game plan. Um, so I thought our game, you know, the way they executed the game plan the second game was a lot better. How important was it for you, Coach, to just keep stressing to your team to just continue to press? Because if Boise State went on a run, you know, you guys have seen them before when they go on runs. Yeah. That, that's where things become dangerous. Yeah. And for me, like, no, regardless of the score, I'd never feel like it's out of reach. You know, they hit a couple shots and we turn it over all of a sudden that, you know, the, that double digit lead is down to single digits. And so I was really, really stressing in the timeouts how important it was to take care of the ball not to put them at the free throw line. We got them in the bonus in the third quarter and that's just a recipe for disaster when you're giving away free points. Um, but I thought we did a good job of kind of managing the clock in the fourth quarter of taking our time on possession so they couldn't get the ball back quickly. And then our rebounding was really good in the fourth quarter. We were up 10 at halftime and then we were only up five at the end of the third quarter. And I think we wound up plus seven or plus eight. So, you know, I'm really pleased with that overall number but I would have liked to keep the separation in double digits like we had it at halftime. Coach, how would you describe that second quarter from your vantage point on the sidelines? From the outside looking, it seemed like one of the more dominating 10 minutes of basketball we all have had this season. Yeah, I thought, like, I, our defense was phenomenal. You know, I thought that we just kind of really – we really disrupted their rhythm, you know, and, they, and they're such a great executing offensive team. And if they can run their stuff, they know exactly what they're looking for. They know who should shoot the ball. They know where they want to catch it. And we kind of let them do that in the first game. And we just, we couldn't play that way. So I thought our team did a great job of just trying to disrupt what they were doing, the timing, the spacing, you know, trying to throw that off. And in the second quarter, I thought it, it was really, really good. Getting Dom Phillips back in there this weekend, got first bucket today. Uh, a, how good is it to have her back? And B, what added dimension does she add to your team this year? Well, you know, she was on the all freshman team last year and she only played half of the game. So I think that speaks to what an impact she had, not only for our team, but in our conference, people saw what she was capable of. Um, and it gives us added post steps. So now we can swing Amaya back to the perimeter, like the way that Nia was doing earlier. So it just adds more depth. And obviously she can score and she can score at all three levels. She can score in the paint, she can score in the mid range and she can shoot the three. And so I think once her rhythm and kind of timing, she, Get, get worked out because right now I feel like she's really trying to hit a home run all the time because she's been out for so long. So I was so happy when that first bucket went in because a lot of times like you just got to make one and then you can kind of settle in. But she's going to give us, you know, more options scoring defensively. And, you know, with her, when we when we can switch a lot of like positions because we're all similar size, that helps us on defense. And so we've added another player that can really help us do that stuff. Yeah, I think you have eight days now to your next game. Do you take a break or how do you do these next eight days before you play again? Well, tomorrow will definitely be off. I want my staff to not come to the office. Like it's, it was been a pretty long week with travel and things like that. And then we're going to go on the road Saturday till the following Sunday. So it's a lot of travel, you know, our staff, they have pets, they have families and things like that. So I think the balance and having a break so that they can recharge and be their best for our team is really important. Um, we'll practice a few times this week and really focus in on ourselves and we'll give them another day off to rest and recover before we head out to Colorado. And hopefully we, you know, take a lot of great energy because we're going to need it. <laughs> we have four games in seven days, so we're going to need a lot of energy and, you know, getting Dom back that that helps too. We have another person in the rotation when you're playing so many games consecutively at a pretty high altitude too. You know what I mean? So we got to be really tough on that trip and find, you know, just find a way. That's what it's going to come down to. Who are you liking the Super Bowl today? 
Great question. I don't know. I'm excited to watch the game. I love like watching the high level games. And I think it's cool that Tom Brady took another team back there. You know, he just changes teams and goes back to the Super Bowl. Like it's no big deal. Um, and then obviously Patrick Mahomes is so fun to watch. He's so dynamic and talented. I don't know. You guys have any predictions? I think the Chiefs win a close one. Yeah. Okay. Andrew, Shannon. It's, I think it's going to be pretty close. I think yeah. it's going to be a close one too. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. If the Chiefs are firing on all cylinders, I think they can do it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chiefs by 20. Can't go against my alma mater. Chiefs by 20. <laughs> Kirsten, who did you say? Uh, my guess is that the Chiefs are going to win, but I'm pulling for Brady. All right. Okay. All right. If I could bet on it, we could have a friendly wager, but I can't. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> you guys have any other questions? I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Good. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. I'm